Hi and thank you for watching. In this video I'll be drawing an African elephant. Now this video has been requested by a very nice YouTuber called Cherie Williams. So Cherie, I hope you enjoy this video. This one is for you. Let's get going. So here we go, the African elephant. Now please excuse the camera work because I am holding this camera freehand. Okay, it's usually fixed down so it doesn't move. But in this case, for this video, I've decided to keep a hold of the camera in my left hand and just follow the drone around the paper. Okay. So here we go. There's the two eyes, the elephant's eyes. There we go. The top of the skull. Top of the head. Whoops. It's one of the pitfalls of holding a camera uh, handheld. So here we go. There's the top of the skull. This is, of course, very rough at this stage. Moving on to the ears. By God, these elephants have got big ears. Huge ears. Moving on down to the trunk. Now I've got a fantastic piece of reference uh, material in front of us. A nice photo in HD of a magnificent um, African elephant. And that's what I'm using for this drone. I will change it here and there. Uh, but I think I'll stick to the drone as close as possible, to be honest with you. Just so I can get the anatomy of the elephant uh, as correct, as accurate as possible. So here we go, the other ear. So here we go, so far there's the two ears, the magnificent ears, the eyes, the top of the trunk, and now the tusks. Here we go. These very formidable looking tusks. Whoops. Sorry about the camera work. I am using this camera. I am holding it in my left hand. So it may be a bit shaky. So there we go. Straight up here. Very roughly does it. I'm not looking to put in any detail at this stage. I just want the basic shape of the elephant uh, down on paper. So here we go. Get the trunk around here. Through here. Now these, uh, these trunks look very strong indeed, and I think they are quite uh, impressive. I have seen videos of elephants whacking things with their trunks. Let's get some of the elephant's body put in, yeah? So what we're going to do is looking at, at the reference material. I must stick to this reference material quite closely just so I can get the anatomy of this beast this amazing beast uh, accurate it's got a lot of wrinkles this elephant hell of a lot of wrinkles this is going to be fun to do Well, as you can see, there is the basic sketch of the elephant complete, all ready for shading. As you can see, uh, I'm laying down a first layer of shading, okay, on the elephant's back right leg. 
I thought I would start back here. Uh, and then work my way around its back and onto its head. So here we go. Very random marks. Getting this shade, this first layer down. It is quite quite uh, quick at this stage. I've decided to add some foliage, okay? Uh, some bushes behind the front of the elephant, okay? Right behind the legs. So here we go. Let's start shading in uh, these bushes. Working on the final part of the vegetation here. As I said earlier, very random marks, just to give the impression of leaves and what have you. So here we go. I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll edit this uh, so it fast forwards to the final finished bush, okay? So here we go. As you can see, all of the foliage behind the elephant is now complete. Uh, and I've started work on this little section of the leg, which is seen just behind the trunk and this mid section here. Okay, so now I'm about to start on the leg, the elephant's left front leg. So here we go. As you can see, I've started work on the next section, which is the back left leg. And I'm also going to do a part of the underbelly. Now on the photograph, this area, the leg and the underbelly, is an extremely dark shadow. Virtually black, to be honest with you. So what I'm doing is I'm scribbling away, applying a little bit, a little bit more pressure to the pen. And I'm going to cover this whole area in this type of shading. Very random. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward this video to the final shaded result. I must say this is good fun. Uh, I'm thoroughly enjoying drawing an elephant. I think I'll have to uh, revisit this subject again sometime and draw another elephant. Or maybe something related to the elephant. Um, a mammoth, maybe. I think that seems like a good idea. Uh, Cherie, I hope you, you're enjoying this, this video. And I hope everybody is enjoying this video, drawing an elephant. We're halfway down this leg here. Get it shaded in here, slowly but surely creeping down the paper. There we go. Applying the skin texture. There we go. Now I've got to be very careful I don't overdo this. Um, I'm looking at the photo constantly. Back and forth from photo to paper. And trying to get these skin textures. Uh, the wrinkles, etc. In the right places. So here we go, 
I've noticed as we move up, as I'm moving up here, uh, to the top of the leg, there is a lot of little wrinkles, yeah? So I'll have to be very, very careful at the top, top part of the leg. Adding some detail to the body area, the skin. There's a lot of texture on the skin, a lot of lumps and bumps and wrinkles. It's a very wrinkled animal. Uh, this is, of course, a male bush elephant I'm drawn. Um, a very large beast, indeed. It stands about 10 to 13 foot at the shoulder. It's pretty tall. And it weighs about 4,000 to 6,000 kilograms in weight. And that's pretty heavy. You certainly wouldn't want uh, this beast standing on your foot. I think that would uh, hurt quite a lot. So avoid, an, avoid your foot being stood on by an elephant at all cost. Here we go. I'm about to start on the ear. So here we go. This is a very important part of the elephant. Uh, the African elephants, especially the male elephants, have got huge ears. Okay. Really massive ears. Um, and I think this enables cooling. Yeah, I think it helps them to cool down, as far as I know. Well, here we go, working on the head now. Um, as you can see, I've shaded in this area. I've started at the very top of the head and I'm working all the way down onto the face and on the trunk and tusks. So the drone is nearly complete. It shouldn't take us too long now to finish it. Um, Cherie, I hope you've been, I hope you've been uh, enjoying the video. I hope you've had fun watching it, watching the drone progress. I know I've thoroughly enjoyed drawing this magnificent elephant. Uh, I think this species of elephant, the African elephant, is probably the most uh, impressive out of all of the elephants, elephant species. The male African elephant, I think it's the bush elephant, uh, which is the largest of all of the elephants. It's, ve it's very impressive, I must say. And it makes for a fantastic uh, drone subject. 
I may have to revisit this subject again a few times, to be honest with you, because I have thoroughly enjoyed this so much. Uh, so I might actually create a few more elephant drones. So here we go, let's add some detail, some wrinkles here and there. This elephant has got a lot of wrinkles, a lot of wrinkles. There we go. Okay, here we go. I've decided to draw these eyes in. Now I'm going to keep them very, very dark with a tiny highlight. Okay. So here we go. Let's get the other one in. On the, on the actual photo that I'm using this reference, it's a fantastic photo, I must say. But um, the eyes on the photo are extremely dark also. So I hope, I hope this works. I, I, hope, uh, I hope I can get away with leaving these eyes quite dark. But there we go. Just doing some detailing around the around the eye. I've decided to finish it off. Uh, to be honest with you, I'll get this. I'll get this um, complete. This eye area. Here we go. A few wrinkles here and there. Straight down here. Always looking at the reference material, being very careful. Just looking at where the where the wrinkles are going. There we go. Just like that. Just about done here for this eye. The elephant's right eye, which is of course on our left hand side. Put a little bit of shadow under there. There we go. A few more wrinkles here and there. Add a little bit of detail to it. There we go. I'm quite happy with this. I would like to have uh, put a bit more detail in the actual eyeball. But as you can see, I have kept it dark, very dark and mysterious looking makes you wonder what the what the elephant is thinking now I've decided to uh, apply some white acrylic acrylic paint over this very dark shading uh, on reflection, on looking at this area, I wasn't too very, too too pleased about it. Yeah, I thought it was a little bit too dark. So the only thing to do is to actually get the the white acrylic out and just apply a very thin coat over the area. Just to lighten it up a little bit. There we go. I cannot obviously use a rubber. Uh, so if I do make any major mistakes, and I and I do regard this as a major mistake, on reflection, look at, uh, looking back at it, it is a major mistake, to be honest with you. So as I said, I cannot rub it out. So I've got to use a white acrylic to rectify this mistake. So there we go. I think I'll leave it at that. Let it dry and see what it looks like. Continuing down the, tr the trunk, shading this in very carefully. The trunk is a very strange object. It's a very strange thing. It's basically the upper lip of the elephant and its nose joined together to form a very strange appendage 
but it is very versatile yeah it can do a number of things uh, it can pick things up yeah it can gather food stuff like that so it's just like um, the elephant having an arm and a hand to be honest with you it is that versatile now I've got a little story to tell about an elephant's trunk uh, many years ago when I was very little when I was a, a young lad in the early to mid 1970s I got to feel an elephant's trunk a real live elephant's trunk so this creature was alive okay and very big now my grandfather decided to take me and my sister to a circus okay about 73 to 75 I think it was 1975 so we went to this circus with my grandfather and we thoroughly enjoyed it uh, circuses were very popular back then in the 70s uh, they're, they're quite controversial things now nowadays yeah circuses but back then they were still quite popular so after the circus had had finished um, my grandfather had the, the great idea I thought it was a great idea anyway to visit the animals particularly the elephants because he had the opinion that you know let's see these things before they disappear because he had the uh, the thinking that these animals aren't going to be on this planet uh, for too long judging by the way things are going poachers and what have you uh, killing these magnificent beasts so he took her round the back of the t of the circus where we immediately came face to face with an amazing elephant okay fantastic animal it was huge massive uh, bearing in mind I was only a young lad about seven seven or eight years old so the elephant's trunk came out over the fence the enclosure fence or the pen whatever it's called where it was being kept its, tr it's trunk came over uh, and I stroked the elephant's trunk okay and that was an amazing experience I must say uh, unbelievable and, uh, and at the time I described to everybody uh, that the trunk actually felt like the bark of a tree very rough the skin was unbelievably rough uh, and I thought it was like a like the bark of a tree so there we go uh, just a little childhood story there involving a real live elephant Well, there we go, all complete, as requested by Cherie. Cherie, thank you very much for requesting this. I hope you've enjoyed watching the video, and I hope you like the end result. And I hope everyone has enjoyed watching this video. I know I've thoroughly enjoyed creating it, and I've loved drawing this magnificent animal, the African bush elephant. And as I said earlier in the video, I'm going to have to revisit this subject and create a couple more drones. But for now, thank you all for watching. Bye bye and take care.